Pickles and welcome to Pickles Playground. On this episode, we're going to the 35th anniversary of My Comrade magazine for Gay Pride Month. It just so happens that my brother, Michael Wakefield, who's much older, photographed for this magazine. When we see his photographs, we'll pretend they're my photographs. I've gotten his okay with that. Come on, let's go. Look at some of the artwork. I think I did a lot of these photographs. I'm very proud. I think you'll like them too. Come on, let's go. Don't be shy. Hello, my name is Linda Simpson. We are celebrating, I, I, you're saying it's my comrade. I feel like we're celebrating you today because you're responsible for all of this. What do you think it is about my comrade, the energy of my comrade that still resonates today? As you know, because you were very involved, Pickles, behind the scenes, taking a lot of photos. I think what people loved about it most is that the message of my comrade was gay pride, gay love, gay unity. Sort of a gay revolution that strangely enough, had we have revolted and there's, we're kind of everywhere now, so that's good. At the time, it was a small pocket of queers living out and proud. Now it's a universal thing. Yeah. Was the shoot that we did with the uh, young boys that were undercover was you I a priest? priest? Always. Oh, no, no. Priest Typecast. One? We did so many. What's and that one? gorgeous picture that you took of me that was the foot centerfold isn't in there. Linda's a c Sorry. Hey, no, I mean, was I supposed to say something important? And what's this no, about? No, no. We're just a at at just a oh, look, it's just got a scooter bag. Well, I only, photo I only photograph for my comrade. Oh, there we go. So we're gay. We're, um, yeah, that. We're artists. Isn't that go crazy? This guy's driving this cab right up my ass. Well, there's a playfulness to my comrade that was really needed at that point because we were in the middle of the AIDS epidemic. My comrade was jokey, silly, funny, sexy, horny, crazy, fun. But at the same time, it was unapologetically queer. Everybody was a homo, everybody was a lesbian. It was all gay, 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 24 hours a day. And the thing about it was is that that in and of itself was a radical act. We are here, we are queer, get used to it. Hey, there's a new girl in town. Let's get to business. Hello, hello, is this thing on? No. no. <laughs> I think that um, my comrade stands the test of time because it's a celebration of us. Our belief in ourselves, um, our ability to turn, turn pain into art. Well, it's, still, it's like we've come full circle with this, with queer and in inclusivity and non-binary and anything goes and you're every everything is valid you know um. oh well it's strength and the celebration of us fantastic gay people and how much um, you know better we are than everybody else and um, we're prettier sexier and just more fabulous it was just the family everyone was you know there for it and cheering it on and it represents sort, that sort of camaraderie that, is that the way we say that? Camaraderie? Yeah. That's the way we say it. There's so much that you've done. And what, was your, what was your first photo shoot for the magazine? My very first one, I think, was Happy Face. Oh, no, wait, yeah. Was it? And also that one of Chris on the roof. That, there's just so much fun stuff. Oh, so that was at your apartment building. Yeah, that's on my rooftop. Yeah, yeah, there, no. There's a lot of uh, memories. Oh, I was gonna say, this actually, my outfit is inspired by what we used to do like back then. You are such a trendsetter, it's amazing. Did you say that thing that you just said about my outfit? You look beautiful. I love all the colors. We celebrated your 25th birthday party on my rooftop. Yes, I remember it well. That was one of my, one of my favorite birthday parties. And in, in 1989 was one of my favorite years ever. But it included that incredible shoot that we did for my comrade. Yes. 
was on the cover. It was you. It was Lahoma Van Zandt. It Van Zandt and some other person <laughs> named Ron Paul. That was fun, wasn't that? that it was, was really and they fun. were wearing your designs. Yes, yes. We I whipped up those clothes like out of scraps, you know. We, we pulled it off on a shoestring budget, but it looked really beautiful and so many, it, I was telling Linda inside that it was a career changing moment for me. Now, you were actually involved with one of the photographs that I did at this opening, yes. right? Yes, um, Happy needed some jewelry and he said, uh, um, he called me up and he said, Al, can you lend me um, your tiara? And I'll bring it back to you, I promise. And I was like, oh hell no, I'm not lending you anything. I said, I will bring it to the shoot and you can wear it and that's what happened. And so there's a photograph of Happy in my tiara and my choker and my earrings and It's on else. display here. Yeah, yeah. It's a cover photo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we like you. Well, I like you too. You and so you, special. and you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, fortunately, I've been able to work with uh, Linda Simpson, also with Sweetie, and of course you. Yeah, that's how I got started in New York, um, hitting the clubs and here we are. Yeah, rest in peace with Sweetie. Oh, the, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, yes. that was some Kai Kai. Oh, yes. my God. Oh, it's with the banana up. and everything. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, we're they need to pull that out and put we it in will. the wall. We will. Yeah. Right. We've been through the ringer together, girl. We've done a lot. Yes. yes. It is behind you. I was the premier, my only cover story, but that's me on the cover. Don't leave me this way. I can't survive. I can't stay alive. You did some incredible work. Yes, I'm an internationally known artist. I, I have been, but I'm even bigger now. Yeah, Mark Jacobs. <laughs> the world. Oh, that's seven years ago, darling. Keep up. You're gonna like, right? Keep up, girl. I love you so much. Thank yeah. you. I love you also. That's you, the end of the interview. That's all. No, no. That's um, all you needed. No. I'm asking. We're done here. But you rock my world, girl, boy. Thank you. Uh, in between everything. everything. Now, do you have any things coming up that people can see? I, your show was amazing. That you, thank you, well, thank you. You, you. like the music? For I wrote it, it, I directed it, I did the music. I've seen artists too. Can oh, you tell, where can we see your it's, art? Uh, ChristopherTannerArts.com, and I'm having a show at Amp Gallery in Provincetown that opens uh, July 15th. Oh, sh Also, my comrade had the reverse side called Sister Magazine, so apart from just being a gay magazine, it was really inclusive of the entire queer community, and now as things open up, could you speak to that, how things have evolved since then? I, I think we were, it, you know, it was from an era, too, when, you know, AIDS kind of dominated the conversation, and there were a lot of, like, lesbian activists, certainly, involved with ACT UP, etc., so it just seemed only natural that, you know, women would be part of the fray uh, back then. Everything about you and my comrade, where can they find it online? Well, uh, there is a website, mycomrade.org, or I post a lot about and everything I'm doing on Instagram at Linda Simpson. Say something about Linda Simpson, because this is She's really a celebration. A okay. She's a hairy c Oh, sorry. No, Linda, um, Linda is the poet laureate of the East Village. Tell us, yeah. would you have a favorite memory or something about Linda Simpson that you'd like to say? So, Linda was way ahead of the game. She was really way ahead of the game. I can't wait to see this new issue because I'm sure it's going to be astounding. We were in a club that was um, on 43rd Street, and we just started uh, walking down the street, and people started throwing bottles at us, and we started running. It was, and it was so joyous, and it was so dangerous, laughing and screaming, and the bottles were being thrown, and it was so fantastic, Pickles. Do you have a favorite memory to share of Linda Simpson? Actually, I don't have too many favorite memories because, uh, oh, I'm sorry, we're on camera. No, I love Linda. She's so glamorous. I have to say, the first time I saw Linda, she was unspookable, and she's still unspookable, and her enthusiasm and ebullience never ceases to enthrall me and the millions of people who love her. Because this is all because of Linda. What, what's a, favorite, a fond memory you have of Linda? I mean, I can't think of anything specific. I honestly just have to or say Jeff. Linda's heart. Like, she's just always had a big heart. She's always championing me. Do you have any favorite thoughts about Linda Simpson? Oh, I love Linda Simpson. A uh, crazy mixed up kid that found their way. I'm really proud of her. 
Well, there's so many moments that um, Lynn and I spent together. She was a dear friend, and she was so welcoming. Um, she welcomed me into her circle. Um, I made clothes for her. It was we got you know we got her in drag for one of the first times she got in drag and went out to the pyramid and she was definitely a muse. She put us in Interview Magazine. I mean, she was just like she was just a real sweetheart. What is a favorite memory that you have of Linda Simpson, who uh, started all this? When I met Linda, uh, she was a boy, and I turned her into Linda Simpson. I named her Linda, and. Uh, I got her into drag, and uh, she didn't fight it, obviously, and she's still going strong. And so I'm kind of her mother, more like her younger, prettier sister. But, uh, you know, I love Linda. We had many, many times together. We're still having fun times together today. <laughs> Wasn't that incredible? I love these people. So many friends that I've known for so long that have accomplished so much in New York City. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time right here on Pickles Playground. Bye-bye. More playful than she. She brings you music, laughter, ideas to ponder. Wandering yonder, happy and free. It's a good day.